Hello everyone, my name is Christian, welcome to my hobby blog. Today we are doing day 29 of Spooktober, otherwise known as 31 Days of Horror. Uh, we are getting near to the end now. I am very excited. I'm excited to move past this and start watching non-horror related movies, which I've been doing that too during the month, but I think having that uh, sort of dead set Every single day, you gotta watch a horror movie and then upload a video about it. It's getting a little old, but um, we're almost done. So today, I watched a movie directed by Scooter McRae, who, if you don't know who he is, he directed one of my favorite um, Saturn Core movies, uh, and that was uh, Shadow Dead. But this movie here is one that he made... Uh, after Shadow Dead. And this is the film from... They do not list the year on this. So I apologize, but I think it's uh, late 90s. This is the film Sixteen Tongues. Uh, this movie baffles me. I don't really know what to think uh, yet about how this movie turned out, but this movie is basically a David Cronenberg movie. It's body horror, there's some cyberpunk stuff going on, which reminded me of Naked Lunch or Videodrome, and th there's so much sex in this movie. Um, our main character, he is a veteran from some war, and he uh, witnessed a terrorist explosion that uh, he got caught in, and 16 people die, including him, but the, uh, scientists somehow bring him back, and all the flesh that was burned away in the explosion, they replace with the tongue meat from all of the victims, and so he's able to taste with his body, and he becomes addicted to sex, because that's the only relief that he can get from the itchiness that, um, occurs when the tongue meat is dry, I think, because what he does in the entire movie takes place in a sex, uh, motel, and most of the sets happen either in one of two bedrooms or the hallway between the two bedrooms, and so... This guy is in the sex motel having sex and forcing people to uh, give him oral, oral sex because the mouth saliva uh, gives the itchiness uh, some relief. It's really bizarre and we also have another character who is on the, uh, not only the back with this awesome, awesome uh, visual on the slipcover. This is more what she looks like in the actual movie, though. And what she does is that she uh, was having a surgery procedure. And the doctors, I guess, wanted, wanted to fuck with her and put her sexual organs underneath her eyelids. And so when she's taking a shower or doing any uh, eye rubbing, anything like that, she is giving given um sexual pleasure and she hates it <laughs> and so the entire movie is her looking for the scientist using uh her best friend who is a hacker and is able to uh reach into the thoughts of, pe of, of other people's brains it's a really weird movie and this is why i compared it to david cronenberg because his movies are exactly the same way, where I don't really know how to describe it, but it's a whole lot of fun, I feel like, because this movie, I would love to see David Cronenberg do it, because this movie is very low budget, you can see the makeup lines of where the uh, tongue meat prosthetics are uh, being applied, and you can see the dividing line between the actual effect and the uh, our character's natural skin that isn't being, uh, I guess, dressed up and 
uh, latex and all that. But um, this is such a weird movie. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. Um, I don't think it's as good as Shadow Dead. Shadow Dead was just a really fun movie and was great from beginning to end. But this one, I think I was a lot more invested in because I love the weird psychosexual um, cyberpunk uh, body horror, everything with this movie, while Shadow Dead was just a zombie film. Uh, this one is a lot more grand. Um, people say it's not as epic as Shadow Dead. Uh, Shadow Dead has an epic scope, but I think this movie has an epic idea that isn't really executed to the degree that it can be executed. Um, budget is definitely an issue when... Uh, looking at this movie, uh, I love the uh, sound effects and the score for this movie. Uh, there's a special feature on this release where uh, Scooter McRae's film from 2015 is on here. And they got the composer Fabio Fritzi, who did uh, Lucio Fulci's Zombie and Lucio Fulci's The Beyond. And I would love to see that and see kind of why it was included on this release and what relation it has to 16 tons. But this movie, I think everyone who's a fan of David Cronenberg and the sort of cyberpunk movies of the 70s would really love this uh, movie. Uh, it's not for everyone, but I think it's kind of the litmus test on how extreme you can go with some of the concepts that David Cronenberg does in his films, mostly scanners, uh, video drum, and a little bit of um, Naked Lunch. I think all of those ideas from those Cronenberg films uh, pop up here. And it is quite good. It's quite awesome, actually. Um, I'm kind of shocked that they don't have the... Uh, the year that this movie came out on the back. I've been looking for it. Looks like 1999. So this movie is right before the 2000s. They do talk about um, the 21st century throughout this movie. But um, good to know. Good to have a confirmation. It was in very tiny text on the bottom of the box. But yeah, this one was a lot of fun. I recommend everyone who's a fan of Cronenberg and all those other directors and those genres I mentioned to go watch this. Uh, this is a very recent uh, Saturn's Koi uh, release. This is number 15 that they've done, which I think they've done one other Saturn's Koi movie, which I don't have yet. Uh, I'm not sure what it's called, but this movie was 16 tons. A whole lot of fun really weird um still processing it but thank you all so much for watching and please have a great rest of the weekend